Be changed. Be delivered. Be healed. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Glory to God. Yeah. Somebody shout, I've got power. Circumstance, power, power to walk upright, even when I don't feel good. Power to lift the devil and cast him out. I've got power, power to praise God in the midst of my storm. Somebody shout, I've got power, I've got power. Oh. power, Holy Ghost power, power to shift my situation, power to change my stuff, power, somebody shout turn it around, turn it around, turn it around, I've got power to turn it around in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. Look at somebody and tell them, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, glory, oh, glory, oh, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Listen, everybody that raised your hands just a few minutes ago, you lifted your right hand and you said, Lord, give me power. Come on, tell him again, Lord, give me power. Now I want you to go to somebody that you didn't go to the last time. Go to them and lay your hand on them and tell them it's all over. God didn't work it out. It's all over. God didn't turn it around. It's all over. It's all over. Tell them, let it go. Let it go. Move on. God has shifted. God has shifted. God has shifted. God has shifted. Hey, hey. Oh, glory to God. I need everybody in the house this morning. Wherever you're standing, I just want you to move three steps to your right and just go to giving God a praise. Come on, give him a praise right there because you have shifted your circumstance. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, Lord. Glory to God. There's somebody in here right now. Listen, I've been telling them this morning at the 8 o'clock service, and I talked to my wife about this. I said, baby, God is shifting something. We're at 25 years of ministry, four years in Tracy. I said, God is shifting something. God is turning some things around. God is moving us. Glory to God. He's shifting. And some of y'all got some situations going on in your life. And you need God to shift it. You need God to turn it around. You need God to shift you. To give you more strength. To give you more power. To give you more insight. To give you the ability to stand under the storm. Anybody need help to stand under the storm? Anybody need help to stand when things don't go your way? Stand when your heart is broken. Stand when folk don't understand you. Stand when you seem to be standing by yourself. Stand. Look at the Lord. Look up, up in heaven and say, Lord, I need power to stand. I 
need power to endure. I need power to push the devil back. I need power to speak into my situation. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. The Lord said to tell you, declare, I've got power. I've got power. I've got power to speak into my own situation, to speak into my own storm. Glory to God. If you've got that power right now, close your eyes. If you've got that power right now, I want you to employ it. I want you to put it to good use. Right where you are, I want you to begin. Open your mouth. You don't have to yell, but from the heart. I want you to speak with your lips to whatever is challenging you. Those of you online, I'm talking to you. Glory to God. Whatever is challenging you, whatever has become a weight on your shoulders, whatever has brought pain to your family, whatever has brought tears to your eyes, whatever has kept you awake at night, I want you to speak it, speak it, speak it. Open your mouth and declare victory over it right now. Right now. Right now. Some of y'all ain't saying nothing. Glory to God. Come on, move them. Move your mouth. With the heart, man believes. And with the mouth, confession is made. Speak it into the atmosphere. Glory to God. Come on, speak it. Speak it. Send it in the atmosphere. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, right where you are. Begin to give God some glory for working it out for you. Begin to give God some praise for turning it around. Begin to bless the name of the Lord because he's already done it. He's already healed it. He's already set you free. He's already done it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yoke are destroyed. In the name of Jesus, yokes are destroyed. A brand new heart and a brand new life and a brand new joy. God is shifting your circumstance. God is shifting your situation. God is shifting your problem area. God is shifting what you're dealing with. Yeah, yeah. I hear the Lord saying, say yes to me. Yes to your will. Tell him, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I already know you're speaking out of your soul. Say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. By faith. Yeah. 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 By faith. I need some folk in here that know God. You know what I said? You got to get this. You got to get this. You got to get this. Everywhere you look in the Bible, Jesus did some things and folks in their humanity wondered why he doing it like that. Why he working like that? Why he got to spit on the ground, make a mud pie and put it on a man's eye so he can see. Why did he accept the fact that the woman touched the hem of his garments? And that's how she got made whole. Why did he wait till Lazarus had died and been dead four days before he showed up to raise him up? He didn't do that, glory to God. For the Jairus' daughter, he went to the house and healed Jairus' daughter. He didn't do that for the boy that was coming out. Glory to God. He was already in the coffin. His mom and them was following. They was on their way. And Jesus just went to the coffin and said. He didn't do that. Glory to God for any of those. Why would Jesus tell them ten lepers way over there? Walk. He said walk. Go show yourself to the priest. Walk. Jesus could have said, heal. But he said, walk. One of the problems we have, oh, help me, Holy Ghost. I'm already preaching. Help me, Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost says to us that we've got to believe and have faith. 
And sometimes we're waiting for faith to come and choke us by our collar. We're waiting for faith to operate in somebody else. But you ought to put your hand on your own heart and declare, I have faith for every circumstance. I have faith for every storm. I have faith for deliverance of everything that the devil brings against my house. I have faith for my children. I have faith for my mom and them. I have faith for my job. I have faith. I have faith for my church. Yes. Glory to God. Somebody take that right hand. I've been dealing with this right hand. This right hand thing been with me for the last couple, three years. I've been dealing with this right hand, this right hand. There's something powerful. You know, Jesus sits at the right hand. Metaphorically, he sits at the right hand of the throne of the Father. Right hand. The right hand. Glory to God. Right hand just represents power. Power. You ought to wave it in the air. See, don't it shake up the atmosphere? Power. Just wave it a little bit. Come on, wave it. No, don't, don't. Wave it. Wave it. Shake up the atmosphere. Cause a breeze of blessing to come across your face. Yeah. But not only power. It represents provision. What you need from the Lord. Missionary Moore, sometimes I don't need no money. I need some peace. Provide some peace, Lord. Anybody need a little peace right about now? Provision. Somebody shout whatever I need. Glory to God. Uh, uh, and then it also pro protection. The Lord said, the angels of the Lord, they encamp about me. Yeah. He dispatched angels. Protection. Glory to God. We read in the Sunday school lesson, be careful how you entertain folks, because some folks have entertained angels unaware. Your protection was in the house and you didn't even know it. Your protection was at Walmart while y'all were standing in line. Protection. In the right hand of God is prosperity. Now, some, some folks have messed up. Some of these preachers didn't messed us all up. Some of these preachers messed us up, had us running after money. Had us doing stuff to get money. You get God, you got all the money. You get in the will of God, you got all the money because the cattle on a thousand hills belongs to God. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. So my issue ain't money. It's getting with the one who got, who is money, who is provision. Everything I need, everything I need is in the law. Glory to God. We shifting again. We shifting. We shifting. We shifting. Yeah. Somebody said, Pastor, you talking about a shift. I already did. I shifted. Would you look at somebody and tell them I need the Holy Ghost? Come on. Somebody look at somebody and tell them I'm glad to be your friend. But I need the Holy Ghost. Sometimes I'm dealing. I know sometimes it's hard for y'all to get this, but sometimes I'm riding down the road. Ah. Uh, so good to see you, son. Glory to God. So good to see you. Elder Keys. Sometimes I'm riding down the road. 
and I can feel so lonely. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all always feel like everything's all right. Ain't no problems. But sometimes, Sister Williams, I'm feeling I'm riding down the road and I feel so all by myself. But I want you to know that right quickly the Holy Ghost reminds me what the Lord said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you. Some of you don't know what that means. I'll be with you. No, I'll be with you always, just so y'all know. So y'all can all say it now. I'll be with you. Always means always. Let me tell you something, folks. Into every life, some rain going to fall. Everybody going to have some storms. Glory to God. And some of y'all going to feel like in your storm, you in Florida right now. Look like all your good and washed away. You're wondering, Lord, where art thou? But let me tell you, so look at somebody and tell them, whatever you do, don't lose your praise. I'm trying to get somebody to listen. Whatever you do, hold on to your faith. Hold on to your trust. Hold on to your confidence in God and don't you lose your praise. Because praise is good for whatever, whatever ails you. Glory to God. Look at somebody and tell them, I'm pursuing power for a victorious life. Doesn't matter what I'm going through. Pastor, I got to tell you this. Pastors go through some difficult days, lonely days. But listen, you ain't got to concern yourself with me. You going through some stuff yourself. I appreciate your prayers, but you going through. Your children acting up, your parents, your siblings. I mean, no, sometimes siblings just want to make you... You want to trade them in for a 56 Chevy. Siblings. Jesus said this. First of all, understand that when Jesus was here, he was their power. He was their strength. He was their comforter. He was the one that spoke into their lives. Glory to God. It didn't matter that they was on the ship. Glory to God. And the ship and the winds and the waves were tossed. Glory to God. So much so that water was coming in the boat. Anybody ever been going through stuff and look like water's in your boat? Feel like sometimes it's the boat's going to capsize or the boat's going to sink. Glory to God. They was going through and they looked up and they say, they looked and something came walking across the water. This is what happens when folk lose faith in God. They look at the work of God and they say, something told me. I thought I'd pause right there. Something spoke to me. Something happened. So they saw something coming across the water. And they said, must be a ghost. Must be a ghost. But then, you know, somebody always get it right. That's why you got to watch who you hang with. Somebody got to have enough God to pull our minds back in the right place. Oh, I wish I had somebody to know what I'm talking about. 
You need somebody around you who had who can see Jesus. Thank you, missionary. You need somebody close to you that can see Jesus even in the storm. Brother O'Mary, oh, Peter, oh, oh, cutting up Peter. Oh, cutting folks ear off Peter. Oh, don't want to forgive nobody that sinned against him seven times, Peter. Peter always got something to say. But you say what you want to say about Peter, but when, 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 when the storm was raging, he could see Jesus in the storm. And he had enough faith to say, Lord, that be you. Tell me to come out. I'm coming. Just say it. I'm coming. When the Lord called him, Peter just went to step in. Now, somebody say he walked on the water. He really didn't walk on the water. We'll know that in a second. He didn't walk on the water. He walked in his confidence in God. Look at somebody and tell him he walked on the word. Because Jesus sent a word to him. And said, come on. And Peter stepped out on the word. Got to walking across the top of the water. But you got to be careful. Look at somebody and tell them, keep your focus on the Lord. That's what happens in storms. Glory to God. At the most, sometimes in storms, we take our focus off of God. What do you mean, Reverend? Glory to God. We take our focus off the promise of God, the word of the Lord. We stop allowing the Holy Ghost to lead us and guide us into all truth. So he took his focus on the wind. The Bible says that the wind got boisterous. Whenever God's getting ready to do something, the devil stir up some stuff. When God's getting ready to bless you, the devil come in and tell you, go over to God, some stuff to make you walk away from your blessing. You get to listening to folk who just got a big mouth and no connection to God. Some folk talk before they trust. Some folk have talked themselves out of their faith in God. And others have listened themselves out of their faith in God. But all of them folk on the boat was going through some stuff. Oh, it's a ghost. It's a ghost and the wind is heavy. It's a ghost, the wind is heavy, and the waves is in the boat. Woo, what are we going to do now? Peter said, Lord, it is you. Tell me to come. And Peter go walking out on the water, and then the waves really kicked up. Because, you know, the devil is mad when you trust God. The devil is mad when you trust God. And our problem is we trust God, but God needs to hurry up and do what he's going to do. Don't make me wait, Lord. I, I believe you, but I ain't got much weight in me. I wish I was talking to five people this morning. And why the scripture, he knew y'all was going to feel like that. So he said, wait on the Lord. And be of good courage. Come on, look at somebody and tell them, tell them, be of good courage. Don't lose your praise. He said, wait on the Lord, be of courage. Listen, listen, glory to God. So Peter listened to all them folks. He went out to Jesus. The wind started to act it up. He got mad. He started acting up. Glory to God. The devil's really mad now. I had him. I had him thinking, glory to God, that Jesus was a ghost, that Jesus was a fake, that Jesus was a phony. I, I had him think, thinking, glory to God, that Jesus wasn't Jesus. I had him. Them, them was his disciples. These wasn't some folks that was out there on the corner shooting crap when he came. I don't know nothing about that. Right? Wrong generation. Sorry about that. Glory to God. <laughs> These is folk that was his disciples. Jesus had told them to get on the boat. Anybody ever gone through some trouble when you did what the Lord told you to do? The 
Hasn't everybody been talked about when you did what the Lord told you to do? Anybody ever been, I'm going to talk over here. Anybody ever been rejected when you did what the Lord told you? You know the Lord told you to do. He to go out there, the winds really get boisterous. But what happened was, thank God for grace. I wish I was talking about him. Thank God for grace because when he got out there, he his focus was gone off God. He got distracted. Look at somebody tell him, don't get distracted. That's why you can't let everybody speak to you. You can't let everybody have your ear gate. He got distracted. And when he got distracted, guess what he started doing? He start to sing. And if we don't watch ourselves listening to folk talk, they're not going to agree with anybody that's not them. Ain't nobody doing right but them. The only one that's got power is them. Bishop said this yesterday. Bishop said, don't follow no church built on one person. That's what Bishop Macklin was saying yesterday. He said, more people than one got to have the Holy Ghost in the church. More person than one got to have power. Look around there. I think we got more than one light switch in here. Bunch of them over there. Some over there. Come back. We got more than one. You can flick a switch. Glory to God. Lights come on. Light behind the cross. Got some red, white, and blue lights in the back. On the floor, shining on the wall. Got some swinging around. Let me see. There's more than one light in this house. But the light is him. Look at somebody tell them, we are the light of the world. Glory to God. You got to understand that. You've been given that authority. So he goes out to Jesus and he begins to sink. But as I told you, the grace of God, when he began to sink, he, he did what he was supposed to do, which all of us should do. Jesus! Anybody going through something, shout Jesus real quick. You're going through. Anybody going with some difficulty? Come on, shout Jesus. Anybody had some problem? Shout Jesus. Anybody got some decisions to be made? Shout Jesus. This ain't even what's on the paper, but I'm just I'm here. I'm here now. Glory to God. And when he declared Jesus, now, the Bible says this, that he began to sink. This was always a question for me, and I'm sure some of you theologians can help me. I'm so slow. He began to sink. How fast, how slow, how long does it take somebody to sink that's on the water? I'm just, it just, you know. Somebody says some things that made you go, hmm. He, the Bible says he began to sink. What? He began to sink. That means Jesus had like, lift him up. But Jesus had the power that when he was in his presence, even as he began to go down, the power of God still held him up. The grace of God. You know, some of the stuff you've been dealing with, it was the grace of God that you didn't sink. It was the grace of God that you didn't go down. Others didn't make it.
Thank you. It's important for us to understand, and I'm, we're going to move on. But it's important for us to understand this that trying to do church just to do church doesn't work. And just trying to do stuff because that's what we've been doing doesn't work. There must be a spiritual impact, elevation, empowerment to what we do. There must be spiritual benefit. Just coming to church, just because that's what we do on Sunday, does not work. I need to come and be benefited in my soul. So this morning, this afternoon, I'm going to ask those individuals who are ready for the shift, who are ready to follow the direction that the Lord has led us in. If that's you, stand. If that's you, stand. If you're ready to move with the shift, stand on your feet. And if you're not, I understand. I don't know if the Lord does, but I understand. Because it is critically important for us to understand that God wants to bless us. And we are so undefeatable when we stand together. We're undefeatable when we stand together. Romans says to us, and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Come on, shout shift. So take, have a metamorphosis, have a change by the renewing of our minds because you all heard this before. The battlefield for your soul is in your mind. And the devil will talk you out of your blessing by working on your mind. You're waiting for something to take place and God is saying it can't take place where you're standing because that season has shifted. You need to get in to where the shift is taking place. Tell somebody it's a new season. A new season. Ain't no need in wearing a tank top and shorts in the storm. You need an umbrella and a raincoat and some galoshes. You're standing right now. Lift your right hand and come on, say, Lord Jesus, I surrender to your will for my life. Lord, whatever it is you have for me to do, I'm ready. I'm willing. Use me, Lord, in your service. Cause me to be an instrument of your righteousness. Help me to have power to pull somebody else through the storm. Use me, Lord. I surrender now in Jesus' name. Now, if you prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, clap your hands and give God a prayer. You all may take your seats. Jesus said, and you shall have power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you're going to be witnesses unto me. In Jerusalem, which is right here, in all Judea, which is the community. Samaria, which is outside of the area. And the uttermost parts of the earth. Everywhere. About five or six of y'all got that. But it's all right. I'm going to learn how to do it better next time. 
But somebody shout everywhere. everywhere. Only God could have visualized, only God could have known that even our little church would be able to witness in Yugoslavia right from right where we are. Only God could have foresaw this situation. Only God. We didn't even see this 10 years ago. Matter of fact, until the pandemic, uh, yeah, the pandemic came, I didn't know what a Zoom was. I thought it was a lens on a camera. I didn't know what a Zoom was. I'm not the only one. But look at us now. We Zooming everywhere. Folks in Tennessee getting our Zoom. Hey, y'all. Listen, God has called you. So don't worry about whether you have whatever you think you need to have. God already, if he called you, He's going to provide for you. Amen. I, I'm through. I, I just keep, this thing keeps getting on me, but I'm through. Glory to God. All right. God bless everybody. Would you clap your hands and give God a praise, everybody? I'm going to ask all of us now, even as we, yes, I'm going to do that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, baby. Let me, y'all, as, as my friend, missionary, Dorothy Ivory would say, let me act like I got some Kojic sense. <laughs> Glory to God. I honor the Lord for the elders that are here today. God bless Elder Smith, Elder Moore, Elder Ivory, <laughs> Minister Shandy. Glory to God. Elder! 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 Elder Dominic Keys. Many of y'all have only saw him on his work on Zoom. Glory to God. You've seen his work. Glory to God. He's had some surgeries. He's had some health challenges and those kind of things. But glory to God. He's been faithful through it all. He's been serving through it all. Glory to God. Glory to God. And so we praise God for you. I've got your, today we're going to celebrate him. Glory to God. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. Glory to God. But I want everybody in here, amen, that is here. God bless our church, mother. Bless you, mama. Bless you, mama. Bless you. Bless mother, mother, no, mother, no, from whence I've come. She know my roots. Glory to God. Glory to God. So I praise God for your mama. It's a great joy and privilege that you're here serving with me. Having known my father and mother. Glory to my, my actual mother. Glory to God. So glory to God. I praise God for you. Amen. To all of you all who serve so. To the Sunday school department who serves so faithfully. Amen. <laughs> to the prayer team who just five days a week. Keep on lifting folks up and praying for folks. And so many miracles have come through. All of you who are so faithful in Bible study. Y'all know I'm just, I'm there. I'm there for Bible study. Glory to God. That's my heart. Glory to God. It's so good to see all of y'all. Come on, give God some praise for the musicians who minister. And uh, praise God, Brother Poncho brought it back. I've been running for us. Did a great job, man. Did a great job. And every time he breaks, Bumper went. <laughs> and of course, y'all, I honor the Lord for my wife, the jewel of the rock, Lady Simpkins. I praise God for her. Listen, I told this young lady this, but I told my wife before, I said, 
I got to find who has the number to Elder Moore's daughter, niece. That's what I call it. Your niece, yeah. That, well, yeah, y'all niece. But I said, that was this week. I said, I have not seen her. I got to get, I'm going to talk to Sister Smothers. I got to get her number. Because I got to call her and let her know we praying for her. And listen, and listen, when she walked in the door, I was like, I'm so glad to see you. Amen. Just know that everyone in here is important and somebody you put, God has put you on somebody's heart. Amen. So good to see you. Glory to God. Sister Dollar, glory to God. Come on, give God some praise. The dollar just moved out this way, amen, from out, usually folks moving from here out there. But she moved back to salary, I mean, she moved back to this area. Good to see all of you all. I've got some certificates for some people who went through the Solid Steps for Saints class, and we'll give those to you today, amen? Glory to God. God bless you. Now, listen, we've got to get on down the road, everybody. Listen, everybody. Come on, say, every one of us is a tither. Glory to God. Every one of us is a tither. Every one of us is that we don't just pay tithes, we're tithers. It's what we do. Because you can't obey God if you're only doing part your job. If my, when my father would leave the house sometime, he left early in the morning, so oftentimes he would leave with my grandmother what he wanted to do. Jerry, you and Bernie go out and cut the lawn and wash the car. Now, when he came back and the car was washed, but the lawn wasn't cut, we just didn't do what he told us to do. And it'd be out there dark trying to cut the lawn because he didn't play. Amen. He said what he meant and he meant what he said. I mean, you know, God says what he means. And he means what he says. Come on, get your tithe together and your offering. Amen. It's, it's benefit for you. To be faithful in your tithing and your giving. Get your tithe together. You see how you can give. Glory to God. We give by PayPal. Glory to God. You can give uh, with Cash App. You can give checks, money order cash. Glory to God. You can sow. Because sowing prepares you for harvesting. Sowing prepares for harvesting. All right? Glory to God. And uh, the other part of that is you wouldn't even have anything to sow. God hadn't blessed you with it in the first place. I just thought I'd wipe my brow on that one. God bless everybody. Stand on your feet. Thank you to the media team. You all are doing a fantastic job. Brother Keenan and Brother Roderick, thank you all so very much. Glory to God. You got your seed. Come on, lift it in your right hand. If you are giving electronically, lift your phone or your iPad. If you've already given, just lift your right hand. If you would like to give, but this is not a season for you to have the ability to give today, anything, then lift your right hand. I believe if you really want to, God will provide that the next time around, you're going to have seed to sow. Father, we thank you now. Thank you for each of these, God, who have lifted their hands, who have lifted their hearts to do your will. Bless us all. God, return to the sword, 30, 60, 100 fold. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said what? Amen. amen and amen. God bless you all. Begin your sowing. Amen. Glory to God. You thought I was worth saving. And you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for, so you sacrificed your life, so I could be free, so I can be whole, so I can tell everyone I know. You thought I was worth saving, so you came and changed my life, you thought I was worth keeping. 
So you clean me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life so I could be free, so I can be whole, so I can tell everyone I'm one more time. You thought I was worth saving. Yeah, yeah. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life. So I can be free. So I can be whole. So I can tell everyone I know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. To the God that changed my life. And I will praise you. I'll worship you. I'll give you glory. I'll give you praise. Because I am free. Because I am whole. So I will tell everyone I know. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the God who changed my And I will praise you. I worship you. I'll give you glory. I'll give you praise. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. I'll praise you. I'll praise you forever. Because I am free, because I am whole, and I will tell everyone I know. You thought I was worth saving. Thank y'all. You know I love y'all. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Listen, we're going to do this. Amen. I'm going to ask the preachers to come. Elder Moore, you are. We're preparing ourselves for communion, but before we do communion, I want to give out some certificates. Thank you, baby. She's a good wife. I hope she keep me for the next two years. We want to make it to 50. She hold on to me a little bit longer. Glory to God. Yes, yes. Glory to God. You have those... You know, one of the things that I, I say, and it is important for, for me, glory to God, and, it, and it's important for you, glory to God, is that we are uh, individuals who study the Word of God. Because we're individuals who study the Word of God. Because we're individuals who study the Word of God. It is important to me, glory to God, because too many times people are talking stuff that they heard other folks say, and that's not in the Bible. They quote stuff, but the Bible didn't say it. Mom and them did. You know what I'm saying? And it, many times it is, the, the, the concept is right, but you know, the devil don't run from concepts. It's the words you got to whoop him with. Is that all? Amen. So just encouraging you. Um, these individuals have gone through, amen, solid steps for saints, which is for those individuals who are new uh, members, desire, uh, thinking about becoming new members, or just checking out our church to find out, glory to God, what we're about, what we teach, amen? And you ought to know what you're about. You ought to know what, you, what you're a part of. Is that all right? Glory to God. And so um, the first person I want to call is Brother David O'Meara. Where your wife at? Glory to God of all the time. Here she comes. She heard it. She came running. Stand right there. Glory to God. Yeah, she's the church photographer. 
certificate, or I'll have a certificate of membership from you. Uh, certificate of membership. Well, then let's do this. In recognition of your initiative, diligence, faithfulness, and loving support of this anointed movement for Christ, congratulations to Brother David O'Meary for successfully completing the new members orientation class, Solid Steps for Saints, signed this day by your pastor, Jay Fisher. couple that's come under watch care, glory to God, and I want to acknowledge them. I'm going to ask Brother Glenn Ivory and Missionary uh, Hope Ivory to come. This certificate in recognition of your diligence uh, initiative, faithfulness, and loving support of this anointed movement for Christ. Congratulations to Brother Glenn Ivory for successfully completing the new member orientation class, Solid Steps for Saints. And congratulations to Missionary Hope Ivory for successfully completing the new member's orientation class, Solid Steps for Saints. Mm -hmm. Take a picture. Come on, give God some praise, everybody. Where's my my other document? I know it's here because my grandson brought it in. I saw it. Oh, okay. Would you get it out of my office, please? Glory to God. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. I need all of the elders to come down, all the ministers. Cry the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come. Come on, help us sing this. Yes, yes. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. For he alone is worthy. 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 I'm going to ask if you all would just do me a favor and stand as we receive the elder Dominic Keys. We did not have an opportunity, thank you, to give them their certificates, amen? And so this is not only his certificate, this is his license of ordination.
And so we kept it a secret, but I asked him to come, and he said he surely was, glory to God, going to come down if he could possibly make it. And we are so glad that he made it today so that we could celebrate with our brother who was getting his license. And it says, and this is what I do at NorCal Metropolitan Jurisdiction when we've used them in conversation. Church of God in Christ, Incorporated, World Headquarters, Memphis, Tennessee, USA, Bishop C.H. Mason, founder. Certificate of ordination. Know all men by these present that Minister Dominic V. Keys has been ordained a cleric in the Church of God in Christ and is now granted the title of elder. As prelate of the NorCal Metropolitan Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of the Church of God in Christ, I attest to the fact that he has satisfied all requirements for ordination as prescribed by the Holy Scriptures and as contained in the Constitution of our beloved Church. He has also satisfactorily demonstrated his Christian experience. We therefore recommend him to receive the received of Christians everywhere as long as the present unity of the Spirit exists. While he maintains a godly life and a standard in teaching in harmony with the Bible, we therefore recommend him to be received by Christians everywhere. And this is done the fifth day of August in the year 2020. Signed, Bishop J.D. Sheard, Presiding Bishop, Bishop J.W. Macklin, First Assistant Presiding Bishop, Bishop L.M. Wooten, Second Assistant Presiding Bishop, Bishop J.H. Lyles, Jr., General Secretary, Bishop J.W. Macklin, Jurisdictional Secretary, Jurisdictional Bishop, forgive me, Jurisdictional Bishop and Jurisdictional Secretary, yours truly, Gerald K. Simpkins. God bless you, my brother. <laughs> I'll turn around. Oh, yeah, you got to move over this way just a little bit. First Lady of Solid Rock Church, Lady Sheena Hansen. All right, God bless all of you all. Amen. Just sit right here, Elder. If you will, just sit right here. Uh, glory to God, because we're we're prepared for communion right now. Let me share with each one of you all. We are so excited for you, my brother. God bless you, man. We're happy. We're happy. We're happy. We're happy. We're grateful. We are prepared for communion. I'm going to ask that everyone.